On this episode, we're going to install a new steering wheel. So there's nothing really wrong with this steering wheel other than this crack down here. They had it covered with the red leather wrap and I didn't like it. The problem with these cars, not a whole lot of choices for steering wheel replacement. So if you want to upgrade steering wheels, you're looking at having to install a collar and then with the six point lug, seven point lug, six, I don't know, with the screws on the outside, then you have more availability. So I'm going to go out on a limb here and say that this is something you can do in your garage in 30 minutes or less without any problems. But it's a Fiat or it's a Bertone, so you never know. So to get the steering wheel off, you gotta pop off the horn cap. Pretty simple. We're not gonna need these anymore, but save them. And then there's this big nut and it's pinned. And then usually Usually, you're going to have to have a puller to get it off. So, I don't know. What you want to do, though, is, you know, make sure your steering wheel is straight for alignment purposes when you put the new steering wheel on. So, I'm going to pop this nut off and see what happens. Piece of cake. Pull this off. Now then I don't see. Oh, it's got a three-way. I got you. So they want a three-way claw that hooks onto this. And then you pull onto that. So depending on your collar length and your steering wheel dish, it's possible it'll move your steering wheel closer. You could buy specific parts to move the steering wheel closer. But I just want to see how much closer we're going to get, if at all. So I'm going to run a tape down to there. And we're about, let's just say seven inches from dash to edge. So I was able to find the polar three jaw. This one's been extensively modified for pulling off fifth wheel gears off of Volkswagen diesels. And we're going to have to do this the hard way. I can see. Or is it, do we go out? Erg. Stand by for modification. We should check this other one. That one's good. Cool. I will we'll be right back. Interior's clean. I should have gloves on. But then y'all make fun of me for wearing gloves. It's not nice. Okay, more mods. Be back. Cool. 
hold the steering wheel. Boom. Off comes the dynamite. And then, is there anything we need off the back? Doesn't appear so at all. So this is the little canceller for your turn signals. Remember, this is all plastic. Here we have the old steering wheel and the new steering wheel. So you can see that it's dished less. This is our adapter to make sure that this steering wheel fits. So it'll go on like that. And then if we look at the bottom, this is our contact ring for our horn. And this is our little turn signal canceling device. So we're going to take that other piece out and we're going to put this in. And then when it's all said and done, I don't know if this is accurate, but it looks like it could be about the same or a little bit further out. But the reason I got this one, because it's slightly smaller, help my legs get in. And then we can remove it like this instead of having to use a puller because I'm going to pull the dashboard out. I got to fix those gauges, put in LED lights, you know, that kind of stuff. And you're going to have to pull the steering wheel. So this one's leather wrapped. I picked all of this up from Midwest Bayless. So we don't want to put this on first. <clears throat> We're going to put this on first and it comes with everything we need. There's a little bit of instructions. So our horn plug, this would be like one side that goes into the cap and then the other side goes to ground for horn action. So first we need to put on our adapter collar. Line this up. I don't think it's going to be too hard. We'll see. And so there's an arrow on here. When we did that, then that goes down. So let's try rotating it down and see if we can get this to go. Yeah, maybe. I'll put a leg in here. Sorry, I'm dumb. I'm sorry. <laughs> Perfect. Okay. Step one completed. I'm gonna need to push. Yeah. Okay, cool. And then we need to pin this thing.
So the idea is to keep the nut from backing off. If you do this, and at any time you're driving and the steering wheel starts to come out, hold it in, pull over, you're gonna have to tighten it back up and repin it. A long time ago, in my Camaro, I didn't do that. And the steering wheel was prone to coming off, but you can just put it back on, screw it down and keep going. And then one time my then girlfriend, now my wife, the steering wheel came off and she kind of bumped into a gas station parking lot, Ballard near the gas pumps, put a little dent in it. She was upset, even though it wasn't her fault, it was all mine. So pin it, taking all this off. I like the one with the wood trim, but I decided for all black, wood would be hard. This one's soft for gripping. So basically what we have here is, oh, you didn't even, they didn't even supply the hook. That's kind of fucked up, but okay. So positive, negative, right? Positive ground. This is gonna to attach to the back and we're gonna put it in here for the horn. So they have this little collar. It only goes on one way. And so we're gonna put this behind for a steering wheel. So let me put a U fitting on here, U connector, and then we'll try it. I can't honk the horn because the battery's out. I'll try that later, but you know, at least it'll be easier to get to. And then we can take a measurement and see if it's closer. is not gonna go oh yeah it might no that stupid rings in the way So that's pretty good. We can get that adjusted out when we do the So then all you have to do is take your cap and put your hot I have a bad feeling about this. Oh it'll bend maybe. We're gonna have to We're gonna have to attach this. Yeah. And it's going to have to bend. 
And then we attach our ground. Fucker. Bend. And then everything gets pushed down and bent more. Fucker. And then this is bent more. And then this is a pressure fit inside that ring. And then boop, boop. Do you hear that? Boop, boop. Horn works. Okay. So we got a smaller steering wheel. See why I went with this kind of ties into the whole gray. Breaks up this black of the dash a little bit. Oh, look, it matches my radio. So it's a little bit smaller. So look, leg, leg, leg can move. And then let's check the depth. So if we pretend that the top's on, well, it's not. So we sit first and then we bring the leg. Oh, look, the leg fits. So I think what we did was imagine like this. So we were at seven inches and now we're at eight. So I pushed it out an inch, but when I'm driving, I got a good hand position. Elbows slightly bent. I like it. Louise. I'll probably take this off and put an Eldest Builds on there. And then, I mean, you don't, you don't need to do it twice. That's just overkill. You engraved it in the wheel and then up here. But, you know, these cars are... Old, so cool that was pretty easy all right I'll take it back moderately easy gonna need a puller three prong puller you saw gonna need a U connector for the horn let's see turn it left click Oh, look at that, it works. Uh, Want to track right? Clicks. Goes back to center. Good. Horn cancel or, or, or works. Front suspension is in. It's tight. But tie rods are not adjusted, adjusted all the way yet. They're just mocked up. So, not too bad. Let me check the time. Time on the GoPro is one hour, 22 minutes. So not 30 minutes, but you know, not two days either. Had to dig out the puller. Thanks for watching. Y'all have a good day.